and welcome to part four of what is now our Nature Vibes, no Natural Vibes even, journal. Last time we were covering the outside of the cover and it look, doesn't it look gorgeous? It's really lovely. I don't know what you'll have decided to put on yours, it will be dependent on the uh, paper pad that you've got or the digi kit or whatever. Um, and I'm quite sure it will look different to mine. And that's that's great. Uh, obviously, go with um, go with what you like. So, inside... Oh, look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? But we'll set him to one side for now because we want to concentrate on lining the inside of this. So let's get back to the paper pads. See what we've got. Not that one. Oh. oh, I say, that one might look quite nice. There would be just enough of that. Because it doesn't need to go right the way to there because that's folding over. Oh, I like that one. That's a definite maybe. These journaling cards, obviously not. Um, and that's nice, but I don't think I want it for there. Oh, look at my little blue tip, it's lovely. But no, I don't want it for there either. These autumn leaves, mm, I'm totally sold on them, you know. That's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Let's have a look. That would look nice on there, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a definite maybe as well. Oh no, too many. Autumn leaves again. What's with the autumn leaves? Fish face, no, he's not going anywhere. But the other side of him might. The other side of Freddy Fishface might be okay. Might be a good place to use old Freddy up, actually. Uh, let's just place that there. See what that looks like. Kind of looks okay, actually, because I've got bits of that blue up there. No, I'm not as sold on that as I am on the other two, so we'll have to find another place for Freddy. <laughs> Freddy fish face. That's quite a nice line in paper, but it's not as nice as the other two. I love this collage, it's beautiful and would look lovely. Mm. But I'm holding on to it for some reason. And these are the fussy cuts that I still haven't fussy cut. But I will before next time. I'm not cutting out Freddy. Um, and that's the end of that one. So this, so there's some definites in there. This one, oh, isn't that lovely? That would look gorgeous, nice and light and bright. Oh, I like that a lot. That would look very nice. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That looks really, really nice. Hmm. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, there's that which I do like a lot, but you know, sometimes you have to concede. Bright green, no. There will be a place for that, but this is not it. Um that one, which is gorgeous, I love that one. No, it's not quite right for there. That's on the back, wood grain, you know. Um, this is just the remnant of the fox paper. That's the same as the one we've just seen. Ah, oh, there's two of these, look. Ah, maybe I could sacrifice one. I'll leave that out. Uh, this, which I think must be fussy cuts of flowers, I'm guessing. Blimey. Need some serious fussy cutting. Ah, yeah, it's on the back of the front page. Might be able to get some little tags for our front pocket out of here, actually. At the expense of a couple of the fussy cuts, which I'm not that worried about. Yeah, I'm sure I could get some tags that would go in our little, this little pocket. Uh, that one we've already looked at, wood grain. This one, that's nice, isn't it? That would make a nice cover, inner cover. 
Mm. All right, I've got too many choices, simple as, and that which, no. So let's really consider these choices. That one, that's, that's really, really nice. So it would be about there. Look like that. Yeah, like that. And the other ones were the mountain one, wasn't it? This one. Yeah, I like that as well, actually. Let's just see what Freddy looks like on there. Different Freddy, Freddy Fox. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks really nice there. That's possibly going to be the choice to go with. What else did I have? I like that, but I'm definitely not chopping up the blue tip to get it. I can't believe I even thought it, thought I could do it. I'm just really checking to see if I've got if it's two pages stuck together, but it isn't. I can't chop up the blue tip, no. No matter how nice that is. And the collage. The back of Freddy Fish face. No. Uh, this is it then. I'm gonna use the mountain one. Because I can't really see me using these birds of prey. So it's not a huge loss to me. I love this one. Love it. I'm sure we can use it uh, further down the line in the journal. Right, let's have a look then and see what's what. So this is obviously 12 inches. That I can bring out a bit. So yeah, that's what it'll look like. It's very nice actually, isn't it? Yeah, like that. So if I were to put that in there, I'm just going to mark where these score lines are for the um, the spine that we've got. See if I can find my pencil. That would be excellent if I could. Well, here's a pencil anyway. So it's there, exactly there, and exactly there. Right. So I need to cut this off at eight and a quarter. That's my first trick. Get the giant square out. Eight and a quarter. So line that up perfectly. As perfectly as you can. Sometimes it just takes a minute to make sure you've got it exactly right. That's fine, I'm pleased with that. So we're left with this, and that's gorgeous actually. So that goes in the box of remnants, offcuts, whatever you want to call them. And let's just put these creases in, get the scoreboard out. If you're a new starter you don't have a scoreboard, don't worry, you don't need one. Uh, they're nice to have but they're not necessary. You can just hold your ruler up to where you want to score and get a, a blunt kitchen knife, you know, a, a eating knife, not a, not a vegetable <laughs> peeling knife, and just run it down the side of the ruler and you'll be fine. So that's where my first mark is. Make sure, if you are using a scoreboard, make sure you're completely flush at the top and at the side, and then you'll get a straight line. So that's my first score there. And my second score, hmm, that's interesting. It's not exactly on the line. But I'll do it at an inch because I know that's the size of the spine that we've got. I'm just going to turn that over and I'm going to put them in on the other side as well. Just makes it easier to score, to fold, should I say. So there we go. Just going to move Foxy Features 
out of the way. I don't want anything to happen to him. So that's going to go there and there. It's going to get folded. Yeah, so I just need to ink around it all. I'll ink around it before I bend it. It's just going to be a bit easier. And again, um, for those of you that maybe missed the earlier parts, this is Vintage Photo Distress Ink. You could use anything. Green would be an option actually with this because it's quite a greeny sort of journal. And, you know, once again, if you're not using the scrapbooking, the same scrapbooking kits as I've got, then you'll be making different choices to me and your journal may be looking very, very different um, by now. And that's great. I can't wait to see everybody's once they're done. OK, so that's us all the way around. I also want to just put a little bit of ink where, where it folds, where you might have got dust settling if it was an old book. Definitely would have got dust settling in this house if it was an old book. Right. So let's just fold those in the right way where we want them. Like that. And they fold really easy because you've scored them on both sides. And this one. Like that. Just make sure you're this straight along the bottom before you really crease it in. And that's going to go there and get stuck down like that. Yeah. So I need to sew really, um, and I need to sew the the top and down here and along here, just so it's. Um, looks authentic, looks like two separate pieces rather than just sewing straight across there. So I'll just pop and do that.
Okay, so here we are. Oh, upside down. That's lovely. That's sewn around each of these sort of um, panels, if you like, and it gives that impression because we haven't just gone straight across the top. You could do. That's just me being fussy, but you could do. I don't suppose it would make that much difference at all in the grand scheme of things. So I'm quite pleased that I've chosen the cream thread to sew with because it does stand out. Um, and I like, I like it. It's a bit pointless sewing if you really can't see it. And that's happened to me lots of times when I've chosen a colour that just matches too well with the project. <coughs> okay, so we now know that the spine's going to go there, like that, and this is going to go here, that's going to fold over, that's going to fold over, so we'll have a pocket back and front. Doesn't that look nice? So what we need to know is, is there anything else going to go down here? The space there for a pocket and I think I might just do that um, and attach it. Do I need to attach it before I glue it down? No, I don't think I do. And actually thinking about it, do I really want to? Because I like this continuum of the... Yeah, I'm just going to stick that in as it is. Plain and simple. Wow. <laughs> Getting bold and daring. Let's get my eraser and get rid of those two little pencil marks there. Otherwise, we'll get overlooked forever in a day. Okay, so let's get gluing. This is a monstrous piece to glue. Fortunately, as I say, uh, Kalal has a, a, a fair period of time where it's still viable. You don't have to stick it down the second that you've glued it, which makes it perfect for this large project. In fact, it's, it's easier. It sort of goes tacky and it's easier to stick down. Plenty of glue down the spine. Yeah, I can't see me ever using this Birds of Prey page, so I'm glad to find a use for the, the other side of it, to be honest. And I think it's perfect. Perfect use. And so let's have a look sideways on, make sure we've got glue everywhere we want it. And I think there's plenty of glue on there. And there's some areas that have got just a bit too much. I'm just going to lift them off. Okay, let's go then. Let's see if we can get this stuck down. So I want my spine on my spine. I want that an eighth of an inch up. Eighth of an inch down at the top. Okay, let's just check that the spine is where the spine should be. Yeah. That's great. And this one, yeah, marvellous. Got a big blob of glue there. So make sure you get that edge stuck down. Like I say, sometimes it just does not want to, and I've no idea why. This is a good candidate for the brayer if you have one. Big area. You can hear it underneath. Hear the glue sticking. So that's the full width of the 12 by 12 there. And we cut it down to eight and a quarter tall. Look, 
lovely. Good job. So this needs to get stuck down now and this needs to get stuck down then we've got a nice pocket to put things in. Whatever the things may be. I do not know yet. I don't know. Before I do that, do I want to put any lace on the pockets? Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look and see. See what lace I've got. A little bit of this. That would look quite nice down there, wouldn't it? I quite like that. It's got a little fault in it and I haven't got enough. What else have I got? Let's have a look. I've got quite a lot of this. This is nice and... I don't know, it's... No, that's not right for there. No. Um, I've got this. Yeah, that might be that might be a good option actually. It's nice and nice and thin, but it's still there. And I want to introduce the lace somewhere on the on the cover because I'm going to introduce lace throughout the journal. So yeah, that's that is going there for sure. Now you can glue it down. Definitely you can, or you can use double sided. I'm fortunate enough that I've got some nice slim slim. It's been on a diet. Um, it's a nice thin double sided which will do the job perfectly. Um, if not just run some some glue along the edge and you'll get the same outcome. I'm going to just snip that off and I'll come back to it in a minute. Right, so just burnish that down right on the edge, like that. Trim off your excess. Not much excess on that side. Tiny, teeny bit. And on this side. And touch that to me. Yeah, I think that's going to be enough, enough stickiness. Oh, what's going on there? Let's take it off from the other side. There we go. Pop this on. Do I want it going in like that or going out like that? Possibly out. Out, I think. And I'm going to use this stitch line as my guide. So the edge of it is going to go on the stitch line. And that way you know it will be straight and okay. And as you put it down, just apply a little bit of tension. Not, not much. You don't want to pull on it. Just a little bit of tension and then you get it nice and square like that. And... Then you just need to cut the ends off. Sharp scissors are best. I haven't got very many pairs of sharp scissors to be honest. And this one. There we are. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. Just finishes it off nicely, I think. Yeah. So before I stick the other one on, I'm just going to glue this down because we've finished with that now. So I'm going to use my um, Cosmic Shimmer for this. You could use double sided as well, actually. Um, but I'm just going to use my Cosmic Shimmer and I think we'll be fine with that. If it, if it wants to come out in rather more than just um, one dot a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Same at the top. Let's 
fold it over and if you've got clips now is the time to use them. Uh, clothes pins, pegs will do anything just to hold this down just while it dries and it doesn't take long to dry but just to encourage it. Same with the bottom. Just press it together and then put your clips on. There we go. So yeah, that looks nice. I like that. I'm glad we made the choices that we made. I've lost the pin from a Cosmic Shimmer, which is such a regular occurrence. Well, there's one. I think it's the one I lost last time. So I'm going to do the same with the with the lace down here. Oh no, look, it's attached itself to my hand. I'm so sticky. And so let's just turn this over and pop this double-sided down the edge again. Well, it's not right on the edge actually, if I'm honest with you. It's about a sixteenth or something off the edge. In the drawer out of the way. This is such a narrow little pocket and yet I think it will be useful for just popping things in. You know maybe an envelope with some stuff in it, something like that. We'll see, we'll see as we go along. Right, burnish that down. your ribbon on, your lace, whatever it is you're choosing to put on. Once again using the stitch line as your guide and a little bit of tension but you're not pulling it, just a little bit of tension there. That's lovely. Um, that top is straight already so it's just this one that we've got to Chop off. There we go. That made good use of that, didn't it? I'm getting in a mess. <laughs> so what's new there? So that's going to get folded over there, clipped down until it dries, and excellent, excellent. Using my cosmic shimmer again. Fold it in, press it down, and clip it. No, clip it properly. <laughs> like that. And right in the corner as well. And same thing down here. Just press it into place and clip it. Doesn't take long with the clips on, but it does encourage it to, uh, to stick where you want it to stick. Like I say, you could have used double sided and glue if you'd wanted to, but anyway, there we are. I think that's really nice actually, it's come out beautifully. I love that inside cover, I think it's the best possible use we could have made out of this and it folds quite nicely. We might just want to encourage that to fold a little bit more. Like that. And this one as well. And the extra layer of paper here on these hinges will just support the hinges a little bit more. So they've got a double thickness now. So 
yeah that's that so there we go we are coming on doesn't he look nice let's get the fox in see what it looks like it looks great don't you think it looks fabulous I don't think we could have picked better paper than that actually well, we couldn't, that's why we picked it. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's just a short one, this one, just lining the inside of the, of the journal cover. And the next time you see me, we'll be actually starting to decorate our journal to put uh, pockets and, you know, everything that you put in a journal. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for part five. Um, behave